Good afternoon, everybody. I decided to make something that I saw uh, recently, and it might not be the exact recipe, but that's okay. It's the same idea. Um, where you peel yuca, yuca, also known as yaca, and you uh, boil it in water with salt. I saved a little bit of the um, salted water from the yuca after it cooked uh, on the side just to kind of soften it up, the same way that we do mangu. Um, and you pretty much smash it like if you're smashing mashed potatoes with a somewhat thick consistency. Then I'm going to take some like this. I'm going to put some cheese on it. I don't know if this is kind of like a, like a style of croquet or not. And I'm hoping that this works because I've never done this before. So, we shall see. It's a little bit messy. <laughs> Looking like this right now. <laughs> but I like to experiment. I like to try different things. So, let's see. I'm going to be cooking it with butter because um, the only other thing that I have right now is uh, hemp seed oil because I was told that a lot of oils um, we should not be ingesting because it's not good for our digestive system. So I recently got this um, at Harris Teeter. It's called Nutiva Nat uh, Nature Vitality Hemp Seed Oil. I don't have my glasses on. Um, it's organic. It's got 2.5 grams of omega uh, three ALA. I don't know what that is. I'm sure the information is in the back. Um, and 500 milligram GLA. Pretty much, um, this is organic hemp seed oil. Actually, hemp, like actual hemp. But I didn't want to do it with this because um, hemp has a, a distinctive flavor, which is not so much like for frying. I don't think personally. But if you put it in other things, then it would work. Like pasta, like it says on there. Uh, I've used it for like, you know, I've made my beans before because you don't really taste that hemp like flavor, which is, it's actually good. But for this situation, I wanted to uh, try with butter. I love yuca. <laughs> so yes, I'm being mm, a bad girl by making it off my hands, but I'm clean. So that's okay. Sorry, you have to see my face. Uh, so so uh, close. I hope everybody's having a good day today. Uh, my son and I were at the pool having fun playing um, catch and uh, word games. So that was a fun time. Nice color that I got today. Nice tan. Un poquito de India. Um, so anyway, I threw it in. I'm about to show ya. So it might be all over the place, but it's because I'm taking the phone off here. So what you want is to get a nice crisp, and I did have the um hold on one second guys and back um i did have it on high by mistake actually because i was uh cooking the um yuca and forgot to turn it on medium for this so uh, either way it's going to be good so like i said you guys want to make the consistency like a mashed potato and um put some cheese in it you could put it in the middle you could put it in a mix it doesn't matter it's still going to be good and i'm going to eat this with some hot sauce but the first one i'm not going to do that with because i like to taste my food instead of like putting other things on top i like to taste my food first Kind of reminds me of a, a lucky pancake the way the way it's shaped 
Now, if if I were you guys and you're making it, I think what it might need to hold it better together is some type of a flour. But for me, I don't like the gluten-free flours, which is what I have to use because um, quite often a lot of the gluten-free flours are very cakey. So when you're eating the food, it literally tastes like cake. And I'm not going to Ramsey, so this is not going to be perfect. And that's okay, I don't care. But I'm about to try this. Nice and gooey. Yum. Mmm. Oh my God. Absolutely. This is really good. Nice and buttery. A little salt. Like I said, the cheese, yuca. And make them into a ball and uh, fry it up. I think what I'm going to try is I'm going to let it sit for a little bit so that way it dries up. I don't know if people have noticed, but a lot of times if you don't want to use flour in something and you let something dry up for like a few minutes, dry up meaning in this case the yuca, you can, um, it can make a better uh, ball, say, um, if you don't want to put flour in it. But anyway, I love this. It's good. Um, a lot of times people ask me, what would you put with it? What would you put with it? With this, it would be good with a fried egg over. For those who love to eat um, like beef, you could do shredded beef or beef, pork, whatever. You can put anything on this stuff. This is amazing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Have a good day, you guys. It reminds me kind of like a croquet. Some people do put ham in it. Um, I'm sure whatever the heck you want in it, you can put some... Um, so cheese or and cheese and try to figure out how it can stay together nicely or you can make that mash that i just said uh with the yuca and layer it on a pan i will put something on the bottom be it oil olive oil whatever it is that you're putting uh butter and then put a layer of the yuca a layer of the cheese a layer just like a lasagna and i'm sure that would be really good too have a good day guys